Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Ring Lamb, and of course you know from the title this, I have a book review on Lucid by Ron Bass and Adrian Stoltz. And I finally finished reading this. It's been quite a few weeks. Um, if you've been keeping up my bad, bad back to me, you've seen this progress. Anyway, um, I have my notebook here, which I'm just quickly going to open to the page. And I, if you're new to my book reviews or just a refresher, I rate my books in five different categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, overall in terms of reading again very soon, 5 out of 5, not so soon, 1 out of 5 as well. This is a no spoilers review because I wouldn't recommend a book if I was going to spoil it. Um, a brief synopsis of this, basically, there are two girls, Sloane and Maggie. So Sloane is basically from the suburbs and she's a straight A student and she has her mom, dad, traditional nuclear family. Um, yeah, and Maggie comes from um, a broken family, not in divorce, but her father has passed away and she lives with her mom and her sister in New York City. So quite different from Sloane's life, very different lives and they converge every night. When Sloane goes to sleep, she dreams of Maggie and when Maggie goes to sleep, she dreams of Sloane. And on the back it says, eventually they'll have to choose one life to wake up or risk spiraling into insanity. But for one girl, this means giving up everything. Her life, her perfect love, herself. Just when she finally has something worth holding on to. So that really intrigued me, especially lucid dreaming. Dreaming is something I'm very interested in, um, like how like dreams work and stuff. So I was very interested to find a YA book like that. Um, plot, I gave it a 4 out of 5. I found the ending confusing, that's why I got a 4 out of 5. And also there's a little bit of a part near the ending um, that I was quite not really um, into. It was kind of boring to me. But besides that, I thought it was good. At the beginning, when I read Maggie's part, because I've read some books where it's like, they're the high society girl in New York City and she can kind of be annoying. But I really did enjoy both their stories. I would have to say, if I had to pick one story to stick with, I'd stick with Sloan because it's more relatable, I guess, because I don't live in a... New York City or something like that and Maggie was more like brave and courageous and out there and Sloane was more relatable character I found and also I liked reading her story a little bit better than Maggie's but I still liked Maggie's. Um, characters I give a 4.5 to 5. Maggie at first kind of knocked that off and there was a few characters in the book that I didn't really like that much. They kind of both of the girls took time to kind of build their characters up but I really did enjoy them both by the end. Cover, I give a 4 out of 5. If you can see the cover, it's such a pretty cover, it's what really attracted me to it. But at the same time, it feels like it's missing something. Maybe it's just the warm colors. It's, I don't know, I don't like the two girls there. Like, the one's very washed out on the front, and the other one's, like, in the shadows. It's not my favorite thing, but I love the font and how they did it upside down backwards. And I really like the warm colors. I think that adds good contrast. I just don't really like, and I like how it's, like, mirrored. Um, but I don't really like the contrast between the two girls. Um, it just looks okay. Like, yeah, it's not my favorite for that part of it. I think it would have been cooler maybe if they had the girls mirroring each other, but they look like two different girls, which I guess the point, but it would have been cool if they were kind of mirroring each other and looking like their faces were kind of like, like mirrored back and forth, like they were staring at each other instead of one being hovering above the other. That's just my opinion on that. Um, but yes, and also I like the spine how it's like um, flip two. So suspense, I give it a four out of five. Um, I was really wanting to read this. I had quite a lot of work in school if you've been keeping up with me. And yes, I really wanted to read this really bad. So when I was getting a chance, like in between, in between waiting for classes and um, sitting in class waiting for the lecture to start, I'd be picking this up to read it. And overall, I gave a 4 out of 5. I'd definitely read this again because the ending did quite confuse me. If you guys know about like how kind of the ending worked. Like, I think I grasped it a little, but if you guys have your opinion on how it ended, I'd love to hear it because I'd honestly love to see if somebody thought the same thing as me or not. I'm not going to say what I think, but if anybody knows, definitely let me know and I'd really appreciate that. But it was overall a pretty good book. I didn't have the highest expectations for this book, but I think this is a very, um, undermined, what was it called? There's a word for it, but it's a very, like, uh, not mainstream book and it's a really good teen YA book. I haven't heard really, um, I've only seen this in one book haul and that was recently and it came out last year so it's a really looked over book I guess but it's a really good book I definitely recommend it, especially if you're interested in dreams and kind of it's has some psychology um not psychology but it just deals with dreams and stuff and the effects of it and it's quite intertwined and cool so if you like that kind of thing it's not like sci-fi or anything um it's just like a nice contemporary but with a twist that's what I would say I'm sorry this is all over this book kind of um it's hard to get my opinions about it because it did take me a long time to read, so I do sometimes forget a few of the details, but also because it was quite confusing near the end, it's kind of changed my whole um, perceptive on this book. 
Anyway, if you guys have read this, yeah, definitely let me know about the ending. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.